In this video I want to show you a simple uh, automation rules file with Guardian Advanced Automation. So you see I've loaded up a market here. If we click on Guardian I've already got a list of markets uh, in Guardian. What you need to do is click on the Automation tab just here and I've selected this market here and I want to create a new rule rules file. Now until you actually select a market this button will be greyed out so you need to select a market first before you be able to click on this button. So click on this button and it will bring up the rules editor. So what I want to do is just show you how to add more than one rule to the same rules file. Uh, it's just going to be a simple back and lay scalping uh, rule uh, using different parameters and conditions. Um, so it'll give you a bit of a, a springboard to developing your own automation file. So the first one I want to do is create a back rule. So we'll say back scalp. Rule type, well I'm going to place a back bet. You can see all the different rule types here, but I'm going to place a back bet. Um, I'm going to be active in this market five minutes uh, before the start time until uh, 20 seconds before so that gives me 4 minutes 40 seconds worth of, of betting. I want this rule to trigger many many times and wait 3 seconds before rearming. Um, we can apply it to name selections or uh, by Betfair order. The problem with doing it by Betfair order is Betfair uh, can change the order at any time, or we could do it in order of favoritism. But again, you know, the, the favourite can uh, chop and change. Um, so if we want to continually bet on just one selection uh, by using either of these, then we need to put in another rule, and I'll talk about that in a second. But I want to back on the favourite, uh, so by position sorted in order of favoritism, number one. Okay, I'm going to place this uh, because it's a back bet. I want a slightly better price. So I'm going to put custom ticks above best market price, one tick above. So basically, that's going to be asking for a back bet at the current lay price. Uh, I'm going to use stakes of say fifty pounds, and to save me. Um, trading this manually I'll use an offset bet. Now I could use offset bet with greening but I'm going to just use an offset bet at the moment. I'm not going to use any stops or trailing stops um, uh, because the is going to be too tight. So I'm going to offset by one tick. I'm going to place fill or kill bets with a 30 second delay and I want the whole thing to go in at once. So offset batches one. If I put say five it would offset each ten pounds as ten each ten pounds is matched uh, with the initial bet. Conditions. Okay, there are a few conditions I can add here. There's a a list that we can choose from here. In play condition, I don't want it to be in play, so the market is not in play. Although, if you remember over here, I have set it to be before event start time. However, if an event starts early, then this will still be active uh, because it, this just goes on the adv um, advertised start time. So, market is not in play. I want to add another condition. So, I can add multiple conditions. Fixed odds condition. So, I want to only bet if the price of the selection, current selection, it's a back price is greater than let's say three and this event will start in five minutes. Five minutes. I'm going to add another fixed odds condition. Back price is less than say ten. So that gives us a window of prices that it's going to bet in. So let's apply that. We've got our rule here, 
back scalp. So let's save the rules file. So I go my simple scalp. Now I could make that active on the market as it is, but I want to add a couple more things. And so we can add, as I said earlier, extra rules within the same rules file by clicking on this green plus button here. And you'll see this enables me to add another rule. And here I'm going to put play scalp. Rule type, place lay bet. Five minutes before until 20 seconds before. Fire many times. And again on the same the same one, so by position sorted in order of favouritism. Uh, I'm going to use similar parameters, so fixed uh, custom ticks below best market price this time, so one tick below, the stake of £50, offset bet by one tick, place fill curl bets, 30 seconds, in one batch. Conditions. Let's add an in play. The market is not in play. Let's add fixed odds condition. So the current pr lay price is less than 10. And again, I'll add another one. Uh, fixed odds condition. The current lay price is greater than 3. So the same conditions. However, what I'm also going to add here is a weight of money condition. So because we're putting a lay bet, let's put a weight of money. The selection's weight of money is greater than, say, 55%. Now, as, I've, as I'm developing this rules file, I've just thought to myself, well, maybe I need to add a weight of money condition to the back rule that I created. So all I need to do is cr is click on that go to the conditions tab and I can add and edit the rules uh, as I please. So let's go back to weight of money. Now this time because it's back bet I'm going to put less than 45%. So let's apply that. So now we've got two rules and we can save our rules file. What I want to do now you'll see that these stop betting at 20 seconds before the off. That's because I'm going to add another rule. I'm going to call this green up. So green all selections. This event will start in 60 seconds. 60 seconds. And this is going to fire from 15 seconds until 10 seconds. I'm going to fire it twice uh, just to be sure uh, that it gets uh, fired. Um, parameters, no parameters. We can, now we can add conditions if we wish, but I'm, I don't want to add any conditions. I just want it to fire anyway. I mean, you could, for instance, add a green or profit condition, so only fire if the green or profit value across all selections is less or greater than. Um, but I may be in a losing position. You know, I'm, I'm not going to put any conditions on this greening. So let me apply that. Now we've got a green up. I'm going to add a final rule. Now this is new for version 1.33.0. The rule type is fix the order of the market selections. Now remember we're betting on the favourite here. But what if the position changes or the favourite changes, which you can do, change uh, the favourite can flip flop between two or three horses quite easily on a race. So I'm going to fix the order, so let's call this fix order from five minutes before until the event is off. We only need it to trigger we only need it to trigger once. Um, and again there's no parameters, I don't really want any conditions, don't need to apply any conditions to that and apply that. What that will mean is once the favourite is 
fixed or found at five minutes then for the purposes of this automation file BetAngel will not change the order. Let's apply that and save the file. Uh, next what I'll do, I'll apply it to a market that uh, or an event that starts in a second so if we look at this one, here we go, it starts in a while, let me close that you always get this pop-up box, would you like to save the changes? Yes, yes I would okay so let's open this one let's go back to Guardian and now I've got this my rule, my simple scalp now I need to select it, you see I've got some others in here but this is one I've just been doing and I can apply to all markets, all the selected markets, so I'm going to apply it to this selected market now it will start betting almost straight away or will it? You'll see actually it won't because the price of the favourite is below 3. So even though this scalp is active on this market it won't bet. So let me re remove that and just for the purposes of this video I'm going to change the conditions. Let's go back it is greater than 2 let's say. Apply that. Let's go Play price is greater than two. Apply that. Close. Would you like to save changes? Yes, I would. Now, if we apply it, you'll see. Or you can probably hear that it's merrily betting away on my behalf. And we'll see what happens as we approach. Now we'll see. There's two minutes to go. and the automation file is betting using £50 stakes according to the conditions I've set and you can see the current position over here so at the moment it's performing ok what we want to watch for is the bets being placed the conditions being satisfied in terms of the weight of money and the price and then at 20 seconds to go it will stop betting and then at 15 seconds you'll see it green up. So let's just watch it better way. There's a minute to go, 50 seconds. Remember, this is doing this completely automatically. You see, I've got quite a number of unmatched bets here. In fact, a few of them got matched there. This event starts in. But I've got all these here. Okay, 20 seconds is here now so it will no longer place any bets at 15 seconds it will green up and there you go so completely automatically it's placed many bets in fact let's see how many bets it placed um, quite a few let's have a look it turned over uh, just over £1700 using £50 stakes but it, it put in quite a few bets and that was the result and that is a quick overview of the automation tab within Guardian so have a go have a go yourself um, I was quite lucky there I mean it, it worked first time but usually you'll probably need to do a few tweaks that particular automation file won't work on every market um, you'll need to adjust it for the particular type of market you're going to trade in um, but uh, have a look, have a go, build one yourself, and enjoy. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools, and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial.